Mortal Kombat 12's roster is going to be one of the biggest discussions the community is going to have leading up to the game. And in today's video, I wanted to give a list of the five characters that should absolutely return from Mortal Kombat 11 and five other characters that should absolutely not return and take a break from Mortal Kombat 11. Remember, this video could be totally irrelevant in the future if news comes out that the roster for MK12 is going to be an everybody is here type of game where everybody from MK9 to MK11 is playable, but just in case this game has a limited roster, these are my picks. Before we get started, I wanted to announce my Mortal Monday stream. Yes, I am going to be streaming again, as I've mentioned, and I'm going to start this Monday, January 16th at 1.30 Pacific Standard Time here on this YouTube channel. So what we're going to be doing on the stream is we're going to be having a group discussion featuring special guests. One of those guests is Cyborg from the Nethercast, so if you're a fan of the Nethercast, definitely tune in. And the topic we're going to be discussing is our top five needs or our top five most wanted things from Mortal Kombat 12. I'm also going to have an open mic AMA session in that stream and also... I'm going to have viewer call-ins where, yes, you, the viewer, can come on stream and ask me or the group whatever question you have for me or for us. But you must be a part of my Discord in order for you to be able to participate. So go ahead and click the Discord link down below. Remember, we're trying to make that the biggest Mortal Kombat Discord out there. And remember, tune into my stream this Monday, January 16th at 1.30 Pacific Standard Time here on my YouTube channel. I hope to see you there. Also, remember my character request community poll is still up. What I'm asking from you is your top five most wanted characters at MK12. How many new characters do you want and which guest character you want? Let's try to get it to over 2,000 votes, which we are almost there, and click the link down below to participate. The first character on the no return list is Cetrion. Cetrion really did not bring any Anything of value to Mortal Kombat 11. She's supposed to be an Elder God, but she never gives Elder God type of vibes. She's also a walking contradiction. She's the sister of Shinnok, but we know Elder Gods are not siblings of each other. That's not how the Elder Gods work. She also never really clicked with the fans. From all aspects, the competitive scene didn't like her, the casual side doesn't really like her, and the lore people don't really like her. I don't think there would be anybody who would really complain if she sat out in this one. Next up, Garrus definitely should return. I feel like if you're going to have any sort of MK11 representation on your MK12 roster, assuming it's going to be a limited one, I feel like Garrus is probably the safest and the best choice to put on there. He is the most well-received one out of the new MK11 characters, and he's unique enough to be able to do some more things with his moveset. I know a lot of people may say that you have to have Kronika if you're going to have Garrus, and I don't really think I subscribe to that. I think you can easily write him off as somebody who's just a time construct, and I think it's better for his character to be on his own rather than always being attached to Kronika. The next character who should not return is Shiva. I don't really have anything against Shiva. I actually kind of like Shiva as a character, and I didn't mind her in MK11, but if you're going to have any Shokan representation in MK12, it should definitely not be Shiva again. It should be either Goro or Kintaro. Preferably Kintaro, because Kintaro is the only one of the Shokan who has not really been modernized yet. And I don't think a lot of Mortal Kombat fans would mind if Shiva took a back seat and Kintaro or Goro filled in that role. Moving on to a character who should definitely return is Rain. I feel like Rain is constantly getting screwed over. He was excluded out of the main roster in Mortal Kombat 9, even though Mortal Kombat 9's gimmick was having everybody from the trilogy cast return, but he didn't get to return initially. He missed out on the MKX roster, even though he played a bigger role in the story than half of the characters who are on the MKX roster. So I think Rain and Rain fans deserve better. And the way you do that is to include Rain on the main roster of MK12. Moving on to the next character in the should not return list is Jackie Briggs. I think MK11 Jackie was a vast improvement over MKX Jackie, 
but I still don't think she's done enough to really justify her coming back for a third time in a row. And although I personally like her MK11 character better than her MKX character, I still don't think she's clicking with the majority of the fans. If there's any combat kids they actually want, it's Takeda and Kung Jin. And I think a lot of people would appreciate if Jackie took a step back and either Takeda or Kung Jin took in that role. The next character we have is Noob Saibot in the definite should return list. Noob Saibot is that edgy character on the Mortal Kombat roster, and I feel like for any Mortal Kombat roster and for any kind of franchise that has a lot of characters, there should always be that one edgelord character. And Noob Saibot perfectly fits in that role. He's always cool anytime he shows up in a Mortal Kombat game, and he always makes the roster just look a little bit better. He gives a little bit of spice to that roster. I don't think Mortal Kombat fans are ready for him to sit out. The next character on the should not return list, I'm gonna have to say is Cassie Cage. Now, I do like Cassie Cage as a character. I think she was very much improved in MK11 compared to her MKX characterization. But like Jackie, I think it's time for the other two combat kids to shine because they did miss out in MK11. If you're gonna have any two combat kids for MK12, I think it has to be Takeda or Kung Jin. So I'm not putting her in this list because I don't like the character. I'm putting her in this list because I think the other two combat kids, Takeda and Kung Jin, should shine. All right, we're getting down to the last set of characters. The next character on the should definitely return list is Shang Tsung. If you could find a way to have Kari Tagawa's face and have somebody else who sounds like Kari Tagawa voice him, then definitely include Shang Tsung in the next Mortal Kombat game. I don't think people are done with Shang Tsung. I think a lot of people found a newfound love for the character because of his MK11 appearance, but I don't think Kari Tagawa is going to be back. But if there is a way to find a sound alike, then definitely go that way and include him on the next roster. I just think Shang Tsung was just too good in MK11 for him to sit out in MK12. The last character we have on the should not return list is Devora. Need I say more? Need I say more? I feel like a lot of people in the Mortal Kombat fan base are just done with Devora. She riles up way too many fans. She pisses way too many fans off. She kind of had a really boring gameplay showing and an infuriating story showing in the last game. And I just think it's time for her to just take a step back. Let us MK fans rejoice because her slot is going to be filled with another character that we've been waiting for. I don't think anybody would really be mad if Devora sat out in this one. And finally, the last character on the definitely should return list, that character is Fujin. I think Fujin has to return in MK12, much like Shang Tsung. I think Fujin showing in MK11 was just way too good for him to sit out in the next game. I think it would leave a bad taste in a lot of Mortal Kombat fans' mouths because so many people have been asking for Fujin since 2016. We've been waiting for this character. We finally got him and he's so good, so perfect. Almost everything about the character is spot on flawless. And then for him to just sit out in the next game, that would just be ridiculous. Come on, Netherrealm, don't do it. Keep Fujin, we want Fujin. I think he's here to stay. The competitive crowd likes him, the casual crowd likes him, and the lore crowd, the hardcore crowd, loves him. Again, he should definitely return. What do you guys think of my list? Who are the five characters that you think shouldn't return, and who are the other five characters that you think should return from Mortal Kombat 11? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for all things Mortal Kombat. I'll see you guys in the next video.